What's up, everyone? It's me, CN Squima, and welcome to CN Figures. Figures in your house. And for this tour review, we're going to look at the DC Multiverse Starfire from the Ninja Batman series. And I really like how this figure looks inside her package. You can see it inside her window box with accessories that she comes with. And this figure is not that easy to find in any of your local stores. So I just pre-ordered her at Big Bad Toy Store. If you guys want to get your good figures, please check out Big Bad Toy Store. So check out that website right now, guys. Alright, so in the front of the box, we get a picture of Starfire and DC Multiverse right there in the bottom. And her name in the top and the DC logo right there. And the top of the box says, Connect. Collect and connect the Ninja Batman. And both sides of the box, there's a picture of the character and also the DC logo and DC Multiverse right there. And the back side of the box, there's all the figures in the set and there's the build figure, Ninja Batman. And we get another picture of the character and her name right there in this side of the box. Can you see it? And there's nothing in the bottom side, but on the top side, there's a DC logo. Alright, so enough chatting, let's take her out. And there's the figure out of her box, and this is a wonderful masterpiece from Mattel. They done a very great job making this figure like the paint apps on her outfit, including her hair, but especially the sculpting on her hair. And those amazing energy effects that she came with. It just it makes that figure look so great. And seeing this character, it really reminds me of my favorite TV show. The Teen Titans it used to come out in Cartoon Network. And also on the Kids WB every Saturday mornings. And boy, it brings me a lot of good memories every time I tell you that. And Starfire, she's my She's my favorite character in the show, but I don't like the Teen Titans Go. Because for me, they replace the characters. Because for me, those are not the characters that I used to see in Teen Titans. So, Teen Titans Go, I don't like it at all. But I do love this figure. Just look at all that nice, amazing work that Mattel did on this figure and I really love it a lot but it's not that easy to find this figure so I was so lucky that I bought it at Big Bad Toy Store and you only have one left so sorry guys I bought the last one but don't worry very soon Big Bad Toy Store is gonna have this figure in stock alright okay so let's talk about her accessories that she came with and here are the accessories the fear comes with and these energy effects are not that bad I love how they done it but they kind of look like those roller blades that the people they use like cutting wood that's the way I see it but I really like it so much because you can see they added like like a circle around and also this little detail in the top of the circle and also they add some things some sculpting in the middle so you can attach it on the hands both of them they do. So these are not that bad. I love them so much. Alright, so now let's get back to the figure. And here's Starfire again. And boy, I cannot stop loving her hair. Because her hair is so beautiful. They've done a wonderful job with her hair. So I decided to start with her hair first. Because look at all that. It's very beautiful, like I said. Because look at that nice sculpting the added in the top of her hair. And especially right there in the bottom. And I think this light or dark red. I think it is dark red. And this must be um, light orange. But I don't know which color I love. This one or this one. But look at the sculpting right here in the bottom of her hair. It's very nice. And I love it a lot. And especially right there in the front of her face. Nice sculpting. And I love it. And also right here on her shoulder. They done a very great job with the hair. Especially with the 
face. I don't think so you guys can see the face and get you guys a good look at her face. There's her color for her eyes and the color of her eyebrows. They're the exact same color like her hair here. And there's her lips, also the exact same color as her hair here in the top. And you can see this little detail right there in the middle of her chest. The little green dot with some silver color around. But I do have like a little big complaint about this figure. It's her, her hips. She should at least make the hips a little bit um like a little bit skinnier, not like a little bit fat. But this doesn't bother me because all that matters is that I love this figure a lot. Look at all the nice paint apps on her outfit, especially her skin. But I don't know what color they use for her skin. But what I like about this figure is the paint apps on her outfit. Just look at it. It's so nice with that purple color and the silver color they added all around it. Especially the little detail right there. And some sculpting right there around her neck. You guys can see it. And more silver color here on the shoulders. And also right here in the top of her long gloves. And you can see her fingers right there. And more silver color line on the top of her boots. Her, her knees. And also right there in the bottom of her heels. But the shoe least added some silver color right there in the heels. But instead of right there in the tip of her boots. But the shoe least added some silver color too. But also there's more silver color in her back. I don't think so you guys can see it. But what I love this figure is the hair. So the hair is very beautiful. They've just done a very great job. And whoever made this figure, I will get that creator five stars. Because they they done it a great job with the hair. I just cannot stop seeing it because look at the hair. It's wonderful and I love it. So I think that the one who created this figure, he should be proud of himself. Because look at all that nice work he added. Look, you see them some little bit circles right there around the, the waist. But still, this should at least make the hips a little bit skinnier, not a, like a little bit fatter. But like I mentioned, this doesn't bother me at all. But you can see some sculpting right there on her waist. You can see some little bit muscles. You guys can see it. And... I think some sculpting here in her, on her torso. But still, this is the best figure from this wave. But I don't know if I want to collect all the figures from this set. Because I do like the Ninja Batman. So let me know in the comments. Should I buy the rest of the figures? Let me know. Alright, so now let's talk about her articulation. You can move her head side to side. Rotation. Rotation on her arms. You can open her arms this much. You can bend it, but no double joint it. And doesn't have no bicep swivel, but it has some swivel on the wrist and also a little bit baby. And you can see that one hand is open and the other one is closed. But I like the fist hand because you can see there's some little bit sculpting and also around her knuckles. And in her open hand, you can see it has a little bit detail, like a line. I don't think so you guys can see it. And it's a little bit, um, torso articulation. She can open her legs as much. Kick a lot in the front, but not in the back. And some little bit swivel on her leg. Double jointed on each knee. And some ankle articulation. Comparison size time, but first to see how tall this figure stands with. Okay, so she stands around just exactly six and a half inches tall. I don't know why, maybe because her heels, maybe, but who knows. Here she is with my DC Icons Firestorm, and you can see that these two figures, they almost stand the exact same height. And here she is with my Marvel Legends Deadhead. And you see that Deadhead is taller than her. And there she is with my Fairy Mars Solid Thanos. And there you have it guys. And this version of Starfire, I really like it a lot. It's amazing. And I really love her hair style a lot. 
Alright, so that's all for today's review. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it. If you did, leave a like. If you want to share this video, go ahead. Be my guest. Comment, but remember, do not leave any offensive comments or saying bad words. If you do that, your comment will be removed from this video. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of my toy hunts and more of my toy reviews. And please follow me on my Facebook page, see and figures. Follow me on Twitter and follow me on Instagram. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care and be safe. Keep on hunting and keep on collecting. This is C.N. Skyuma and Starfire. And we're out in line.